Alright, so this little beauty here is a glossy snake. These snakes uh, typically will, well, always will be found out at night. They're a nocturnal species. Um, they can grow anywhere between uh, three and three and a half foot. This guy is about a foot and a half, so he's a younger one. Um, very pretty snakes. Got cool little, um, a, a cool little pattern on them. Um, very pretty snake. Um, they'll pretty much go after lizards that are sleeping. Maybe some geckos, stuff like that. They'll come out at night. They'll uh, possibly go after mice as well. The glossy snake is a colubrid species. It's a constrictor. Um, constricts its prey, which is, also means that it's an egg layer. Very docile snake. This snake never really bites anybody, and if it does, you know, you're probably doing something wrong. Um, very docile, easygoing snake. The stuff that might eat this little glossy would include owls, other snakes, um, also mammals, foxes, coyotes. Um, bobcats, stuff like that. Um, so he's got to watch out. So this is the glossy snake. This is a sidewinder, otherwise known as the horn snake, because it has keeled scales that po point out, kind of look like horns. We call it the sidewinder because they have a sidewind type motion. Um, they typically grow to about three and a half foot is the max size for these guys so they're on the on the smaller end. Predators of this snake include king snakes, road runners, um, other mammals. This is a very very cool snake. This snake is nocturnal, comes out at night, hunts uh, lizards and mice and birds. It uh, is in the pit viper family, has heat sensing pits that can detect uh, heat to an accuracy of within half a degree. This one has quite a few rattles and, and contrary to what a lot of people think, that the rattle tells the age of the snake, that's not true. It tells how many times that they've shed, just like fingernails. Um, made of the same material. So I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, about eleven or twelve buttons on him. So he shed eleven or twelve times. That doesn't mean he's eleven or twelve years old. I'd say he's an older snake, but there's no, no real way to tell. A lot of times you'll find them in washes where they're kind of coiled up and buried in the sand and waiting to uh, strike it if a lizard comes by or a, some other rodent or something comes by they'll strike out at it um, but I found this one crossing the road going from one side to the other but you'll typically find them in sandy areas so this is the sidewinder hey this beautiful little snake this is a western shovel nose they have that shovel like nose that allows them to bury into the sand this snake will live uh, in the sand during the day um, and then will come out um, a little bit at night. They will grow to about a foot long. This one's about, well it's about a foot, maybe 10, 10 or 12 inches or so. So this is an, an adult. It's a very pretty snake. I love the uh, kind of whitish orange and the black. Like I said, it's found in the sandy flats and washes where it can bury into the sand and burrow in the sand easily. The western shovel nose is a colubrid, constricts its prey. This snake will feed on insects and uh, some arachnids, spiders and scorpions and such. Something that it can overpower. Predators of this little snake are other snakes, mammals, um, birds if uh, nocturnal birds, owls. Even, uh, even large scorpions uh, can go after this snake. Most of the time you'll find this snake active at twilight. Um, it's about an hour past dark. So they're out during dark as well. So this is the western shovel nose. Very, very cool snake. The um, defense that it really has is uh, it uh, puts out a musk out of its cloaca. Definitely 
smell that. Doesn't smell very good. But that's about its only defense. Alright, here's a very secretive snake. This is a spotted leaf nose. Found him getting ready to cross the road and he was on the other side and when I drove by and stopped to go you know get him I thought he'd be halfway into the road but he actually turned around he didn't want anything to do with me but they call him a, a leaf nose I don't know if you guys can see this or not but uh, they had this scale on the front that's kind of in a weird shape and it allows him to burrow into the sand This snake is found in areas where there's uh, mixed sand and uh, maybe some rocks as well. So de definitely different types of habitat, but a lot of times you'll find them in the sand because that's where they like to burrow and live in. There's really not a lot known about this snake. It's kind of a secretive snake, spending a lot of its time underground. This snake is a, is a lizard specialist. Not, not only will it go after smaller lizards, but it goes after their eggs. Snake eggs, lizard eggs, this is an egg specialist. This snake is a, is a colubrid, lays eggs as well. Been uh, having a hard time uh, finding snakes out here recently. It's been into the mid uh, hundreds, 105, 110 degrees during the day. And uh, this one I found out at about 12 o'clock or so. Temperatures are about 81 degrees. The uh, spotted uh, leaf nose snake is a nocturnal snake. Come out, come out at night. These these snakes do not get very big. They're typically around one to two foot in length. This one's about a foot, so it could be an adult. The uh, predators that will uh, eat this snake will include uh, night night birds, uh, owls. Um, other snakes will eat this guy. Some uh, predatory mammals, coyotes, foxes. So this is the uh, spotted leaf nose. I have yet to, to find this one before, so this is a new one for me. So this is my first snake of the night. I've been out for a couple hours, but since it's a new one, it's totally worth it.